Hi, welcome to this video about the differences between WordPress and Magento. This video is for anyone who is thinking about setting up a website that sells one or more products and who isn't sure which is the better platform to choose. They're both powerful platforms with different strengths and weaknesses, so there are a lot of variables to consider here. Uh, we'll go into quite a lot of detail about the sorts of issues you'll need to consider and whether each platform handles these issues well or not. Um, spoiler alert, your choice will ultimately depend on what kind of e-commerce website you want to build, and there's even the potential option of using both Magento and WordPress for different parts of your site to get the best of both worlds, but you might not need to invest in anything that complex at this stage. So let's get started with a quick description of each platform. Please note that there is a link to an accompanying article in the description area underneath this video if you're watching on YouTube, which includes a handy comparison table, some extra details and some useful extra links. So please take a look at that to accompany this video. All right, so Magento is a dedicated e-commerce platform owned by eBay, but with a free open source version, a community edition available to everyone. It's built from the ground up to handle large, complex online stores with lots of products. It includes advanced e-commerce features like product comparison tables, discounts and vouchers, and multi-store management. And there are also extensions or plugins available in the marketplace if you want some extra features. With WordPress, it's also completely free and open source. It's a framework with its roots in blogging and content publishing. There's a large community of theme and plugin developers. Uh, some themes and plugins are free and some are premium. So there are a lot of good quality options for extending your WordPress website to do many other things. You can turn a WordPress blog into a social network if you want to. You can add a forum and obviously you can add a lot of e-commerce features. Okay, security is a very important issue for any e-commerce website. So let's look at that one first. Magento is dedicated to e-commerce, so it's really built from the ground up to offer a secure way to sell things online. This is a really big bonus in this category. Uh, Magento has lots of built-in e-commerce features, uh, so you may not need to use any plugins. Technically, any plugin or extension that you add is technically an increased security risk. So WordPress loses out in this category because you need a robust security plugin just for basic WordPress website protection. And after that, you need obviously a variety of plugins to build your online store, even if you only have a couple of products. So technically there's more risk here with a WordPress website, but you can be smart about WordPress security and protect your website. So it's not entirely ruled out, uh, but definitely not winning above Magento in this category. The next category we're gonna look at is flexibility. Magento, having a complete focus on e-commerce does make it more robust, but it's a less flexible option that's kind of going hand in hand there. So there are extensions available for blogging, for example, but most of the Magento extensions are for extra e-commerce features. Really Magento websites are built to just have one purpose and that's to sell lots of products online. Uh, whereas for WordPress, there's a lot of plugins available. You can build almost any kind of website you can imagine. You can go down the route of having a lot of social features, maybe membership portals and selling online membership subscriptions and things like that. So there's a lot more variety that you can do and build a website with a lot of different kinds of features with WordPress. So WordPress probably comes out maybe a little bit ahead in this category. The next category is ease of use. Again, WordPress is gonna come out ahead because it is just so easy to get set up and get started. I mean, there is an initial learning curve, of course, but it's a much less steep learning curve than Magento has. Having a Magento development team who can build your store correctly is probably very important if you're going to build a large online store. Whereas with WordPress, you know, you can start learning a lot yourself, uh, potentially, and build quite a lot yourself. So WordPress comes out ahead here. When it comes to the SEO category, both platforms are pretty much equal here. So it just depends if you pay attention to SEO or not. Obviously, if you ignore SEO, then you can come across various issues over time. But if you pay attention to it and implement the right features and have someone on your team or you yourself who knows what needs to be done, then your website will do well in the search rankings. When it comes to budget, Magento websites may need a little bit more investment up front, but this can pay off in terms of easy scaling and growth when you're adding more products to the site over time. Whereas on the other hand, a WordPress website can be very quick and easy to set up, but adding lots of plugins over time uh, can mean that there's quite a lot of complexity in the underlying code base. So you might need to bring someone in later to kind of sort that all out for you. Plus Magento is really built 
to handle lots and lots of products from day one. So even if you start with WordPress with just a couple of products, if you eventually are going to sell a lot of different products, then it's probably cheaper in the long term to actually start by investing more initially in Magento. So this category, really, it depends what kind of site you're building and how many products you're selling. With the last category of growth and expansion, Magento is, as mentioned, built to handle a lot of products. Um, so even if you're just starting with a few, you can very easily grow your store to sell more. WordPress really won't handle more than about 20 products maximum very well. But if you wanted to grow maybe a popular blog that you make money through or a membership site with lots of membership subscriptions, then it can actually still be a very strong option. So again, it depends on the type of website that you want to build. All right. And finally, in conclusion, uh, there is, of course, the option of using both platforms for different areas of your site. You could have a WordPress blog on one hand for your content production, and you can have Magento handling the actual e-commerce aspect of your website. So, you know, some work going in there to setting up both of those platforms to work together. And you'll need to look at whether you're going to use, say, subdomains or subfolders for these for implementing this combination of platforms so it may not be the most affordable way to get started but if you've got really clear goals and you want to achieve build a large website with a lot of products and also a lot of content development then you can always go with both all right thanks a lot and definitely leave a comment below sharing your own experiences or asking any questions that you have <laughs>